on a Seattle street was drawn, has drawn national attention, and now there has been a tearful apology. The cop and the teenager caught on tape came together for an emotional meeting. We have Team 4 coverage on the continued fallout from the amateur video first uncovered by Como 4 News. Michelle Esteban is in the newsroom with its impact on the search for a new police chief. But we begin with Shamari Stone live in Seattle. Shamari? On the same day, 17 year old Angel Rosenthal is charged with assault on a police officer. She met with that officer in a North area and she says that she is sorry for her involvement with the punch that was shown around the world. The teenager who took this punch is apologizing. In a closed door meeting, 17 year old Angel Rosenthal fought back tears as she told Officer Ian Walsh she's sorry for her involvement in this fight. Officer Walsh accepted the teen's apology, but lectured her not to put her hands on an officer in the future. Pastor Reggie Witherspoon was at the meeting. The young lady came in and um, we started out and she gave a very sincere apology for her behavior. She uh, acknowledged that it was an unacceptable behavior. She, she, um, she cried, you know, she's a sweet young lady. <laughs> The video shows Rosenthal grabbing Officer Walsh while he was trying to arrest her friend, 19-year-old Marilyn Levias. Levias also cursed and screamed at the officer, pushing him several times after the two had been stopped for jaywalking. She was not part of today's meeting to apologize to the officer. I was shocked. I was really shocked. Marilyn Levias' mentor and friend, Melanie Bem, was stunned after seeing her behavior. My reaction was, this can't be the Marilyn that I know. Um, I haven't seen that side of her. Melanie met Marilyn at Garfield Community Center five years ago. Melanie was a basketball coach and Marilyn was in foster care. I've known her for several years and off and on. Um, she's shown to be a very compassionate person. Who may also have a bad temper. Last year, Marilyn was charged with third degree assault after a scuffle with a different officer. Every youth should be held accountable and, and from, as being a mentor, we t tell them that. Uh, we tell them that you're, you are responsible for your actions no matter what your um, background may be. Now, yesterday, uh, Marilyn Levias pled not guilty. You can read more about this story and comment on it on our website at comonews.com. Live here in Seattle, I'm Shamari Stone, Como 4 News.